Creations of Scenario has updated and the long-awaited Kendall remodel is finally here along with two new creatures and I'm quite excited. So let's go ahead and dive into this update. Okay, so first things first, we are going to be checking out the two brand new creatures because there are two new creatures and there's an artifact one and a brand new monthly one. So if we go to shop and go to artifacts, you can see right here the brand new artifact creature called the Flamer. And look at this thing. It is really cool. It is a large glider and it's carnivore. And again, to get it, it is an artifact creature. I'll put an image on the screen right now of the missions you guys need to do to be able to obtain the artifacts so that you can lower the price and not have to buy it for an extremely high price. So um, yeah, that is the Flamer. And again, do not buy it for uh, the extremely high price unless you're like extremely rich. But um, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and check out the other new creature and if we click on missions and go to timed missions as you can see right here is the other brand new monthly mission creature and this is the creature for this month and if you look at its face, it's like smirking at us and um, I kind of feel uncomfortable right now. But besides the creature, there's also brand new daily missions and weekly missions. So if you click on daily missions, you can unlock palettes and this is the matchup palette and you just gotta do all these missions and then you can get a free palette. And I believe these missions are timed missions, like I said, so this is probably gonna go limited once the month is over. And let's go ahead and check on weekly missions and this is also brand new and this is a seal plushie from the looks of it and it's an uncommon and you gotta do these missions to unlock the seal plushie. I actually don't know what buffs this seal plushie does, but if you guys already have unlocked it, which would be extremely surprising, but um, yeah, you guys should definitely tell me in the comments what it does. Now let's check out this devious looking creature. All right, so have 25% of all species owned. Okay, um, I, I was kind of confused. I was like, wait, how, how do I have one mission completed when the game just updated? But I guess, uh, you know, you're gonna have to have 25% of all species owned, which uh, is gonna be a pain, but you just gotta go and go, you know, go in the trading realm and buy the cheap ones and just collect, you know, if you're a collector, this mission should be pretty easy. And yeah, there's a lot of missions. Um, as you can see, nest 100 players, find 30 explorer tokens, complete 50 different creature mission tasks, and log in for seven days. So nobody's gonna have this creature yet, unless you use Robux and uh, get an unlock token and instantly claim this creature, which I, I bet a lot of people are going to do that. So um, yeah. There's that creature, the Clovin Loper. Besides new creatures and before we actually check them out, let's go ahead and go to shop and let me show you guys this new feature that they've added into the game. And if you are the gotchas, you can now buy more than one gotcha at a time. And you can also auto skip and enable that. And let me just show you guys what it does. So look at that. I just click buy five and it just gives me five species. And I don't have to wait for the, you know, the little animation. And yeah, so there we go. Look at that. So I did get myself a stored clover and flamery. And if we go to the shop and, you know, to do it, it's very easy. You go to, you know, you search up whatever creature you want, go to trial. And this is just, you know, if you want to test out a creature before you actually, you know, grind for it or, you know, get it. So yeah, it's only 25 mushrooms for uh, the clover for surprisingly in the flamer. You can get it for 400. Um, I recommend not doing this. You can probably, uh, you know, uh, maybe trade for one or grind it. You know, like I said, I don't recommend buying stored ones because if you don't have a revive token and it does die, then you lose it. So yeah, don't do what I'm doing. I'm just doing this to showcase it for you guys. But before we actually spawn in and check these out, I want to show you guys the Kendall remodel. And okay, so if we go to view creatures and let's search up the Kendall since I, okay, I have 10 Kendalls. Okay, so here it is. It's still loading in. And look at that, guys. So now, if you guys don't remember the old, old Kendall remodel, it was literally a T-Rex. And then it got remodeled into like a chubby, chonky cow alligator or crocodile. And then now it's like the combination of both. And look at it now. It is actually so cool. And I, I just can't wait to spawn in and check it out. Here is all of the creatures that has been released. And these two new ones are right here. The Clove Loper and the Flamer and then the Candle Remodel. And that's pretty much it for this update. But we're going to be checking them out and checking out the stats now and showcasing them. So let's check the Clove and Loper first. And what the heck? Just look at that thing. Okay. <laughs> yo what okay that's that, that's pretty cool that's pretty cool. okay so let's check out these stats 4500 hp 150 damage 28 minutes to grow here is the passive effects it has the charge hack healer and key. okay so it's a healer and let's go check out the abilities ambush burrower jump healing hunter and earthquake 
this thing has an earthquake and it's, it's only a medium so it's not that big but i'm surprised it has charge and earthquake and it's a healer okay that is pretty cool here's the cloviloper and look at the face it's like it's really cool it, it looks like a lion but it's like kind of creepy at the same time like i'm not even gonna lie it has a really creepy face he just stared at it long enough and yeah it's uh this right now we're only a baby so we're actually quite small this creature is a pack healer and just a burrower ambush and earthquake and the charge ability and um yeah guys this creature is pretty fun to play as i don't think it's good for pvp but it's just like a you know it's a collectible i guess you can say and it does have the jump ability as you can see it can jump and it's like a little devious bunny I guess you can say so let's go ahead and check out the animations for this creature so here is the z animation and look at that i like how it like it thumps its feet look at that i, I feel like that that's like really realistic and then let's go ahead and do the x animation here we go and then the n animation oh gosh please don't attack me then the sitting animation that 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 oh wait that's the other new creature out there the flamer <laughs> And then let's do the uh, the sitting or the sleepy animation. There we go. Those are all the animations. And right there, that is what it looks like when it's fully grown. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love having Earthquake so much. Yeah, let me just uh, Earthquake you. I, I broke his bones. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run out. So yeah, that's what it looks like when it's fully grown. All right, so here is the flame rare and look at this thing. Um, I don't know why the icon in the menu, it's like, I'm pretty sure this is the baby model and that's why it looks so bald and like, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why it looks like this. But let's go ahead and check out these stats. So 4,500 HP, 150 damage, exactly like the Clovipper, but it takes a little bit longer to grow. And let's go ahead and check out the passive effects. So it has burn attack and here are the passive effects and okay so the good thing is about this creature is it has burn attack burn or uh bleed attack also and defensive burn and frostbite attack so this this guy is uh this guy could definitely be very annoying and it doesn't have a breath which uh if it did that would be so annoying so if you guys bite somebody you're gonna put a lot of effects on them and um yeah guys this creature is probably gonna be very annoying and it is a glider and a carnival all right, guys, there we go. And I literally just spawned in and it uh, looks like there's a an, another little guy right here next to me. And it's actually pink. And um, yeah, what's up? So yeah, guys, look at this thing. This is what it looks like as a baby. And actually, I'm going to give it a max growth token right now. Just so I can actually see what it looks like when it's fully grown. So let's do a max growth token. And there we go, guys. Oh my gosh, this is... This is amazing. Look how much like better it looks when it's fully grown. And the thing I really like about it is the horns. Like look at the horns. Those horns and you know just the everything it's just so majestic. Holy cow. Okay, so let's check out the Z animation. There we go. Okay, that is sick. That is really really nice. Then let's do the X animation. There we go. And then the N animation. There we go. And then the sleeping or sitting animation. Wait, what the heck? Wait, why does it sit like that? Okay, I guess, you know, that, that's pretty unique. And then let's do the sleepy animation. There we go, guys. Look at that. Yeah, it's actually not bad at all. And like I said, it has a very, very annoying tax. So whenever it hits somebody or, you know, it, it can put a lot of status effects on you. So, um, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this creature. But tell me in the comments, what are your thoughts on this guy? Is it worth grinding for the artifacts for this guy? I don't know. I'd say it is. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm a collector, so, you know, I'm going to get it anyways. But, um, yeah, guys, tell me in the comments, what are your thoughts? Look at this thing. It's pretty sick. All right, guys, here is the Kendall, the long-awaited remodel. And look at this thing. This is honestly exactly what I expected for it to be. And I love how it now walks on two legs and not all fours and you know it's just it finally once again resembles somewhat of a t-rex and when you sprint you do run on all fours but just look at this oh my gosh okay let's actually put a max growth token on just so you know we're bigger and stronger there we go and there we go we're now fully grown and look at the kendall oh my gosh i honestly don't even know what to say like i'm gonna play as this creature like a lot more now and just look at it it's literally a t-rex once again now and again it still has some features of like a crocodile 
but I mean, it's literally a T-Rex. Look at this thing. <laughs> Yo, finally, it's back. The Kendall is back, but look at this, guys. Like, I'm just saying, like, this, this remodel is definitely what we needed for the Kendall, and I don't know how to express this enough. Just look at the Kendall. Like, everybody is going to be playing as a Kendall once again, you know? And wait, what the heck is that? Why does it look like that? Wait, what is that? I have no idea what material that is. But, um, yeah, guys, that will pretty much be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And tell me in the comments, what were you most excited about in this update? And, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.